This video is an overview of the SSDR stage in HollowEdit. The SSDR stage is a mesh-based compression step that can be added to any track with a stabilized mesh stream. In HollowEdit, each segment represents a set of frames as a single keyframe and one or more in-between frames. The SSDR stage encodes each segment as one animated mesh, and stores its poses as a skeletal animation that can be decoded efficiently during playback. This provides significant compression by storing only a single mesh per keyframe in the output OMS file, with only slight loss of precision. The SSDR stage requires a stabilized mesh stream, and outputs a new mesh stream with SSDR compression. It can be applied following a load asset stage containing stabilized data, or stabilization added in HollowEdit with stabilized mesh or template match stages. SSDR is stored with rigging data called bones. Three settings are provided to drive the target bone count of an SSDR stage, and the amount of iterations that HollowEdit uses to produce the SSDR result. Target bone count is the maximum number of SSDR bones to use for this interval. Reducing the maximum bone count will speed up the SSDR algorithm, but may not provide enough precision to capture complex motions. For most cases, we recommend the default of 32. Higher values should be used if your clip contains long or complex segments. 128 is the maximum supported value and greater numbers of SSDR bones in an OMS may fail to render correctly. In a multi-track export, all tracks combined must fit within the 128 bone limit. Initialization iterations are the number of iterations the SSDR algorithm uses to set initial bone positions. Higher values may produce better results at the cost of compute time. The default of 50 should work for most cases. Refinement iterations are the maximum number of iterations the SSDR algorithm uses to refine bone placement and skin weighting. A very low setting might improve processing time, but could significantly degrade results. If you find yourself encountering errors in your SSDR results, you can increase this number, but this will increase processing time significantly. In most cases, you can execute one SSDR interval for an entire track and produce great results. If you're applying SSDR to a very complex clip, the default settings may not produce good results in small portions of the clip. Typically, we recommend running the whole clip with default settings before evaluating if any segments need to be reprocessed with tweaked settings. This does mean you may have to process some frames twice, but the time saved by running the majority of the clip at a lower bone count and refinement iteration is usually worth the trade-off. Let's take a look at some results from processing SSDR. Comparing this clip with a very sensitive heat map and scrubbing through the clip, we can see that the mesh differences between the stabilized mesh and results of the SSDR are negligible. The default settings were enough to capture the details in the clip and ensure efficient processing. This is what you should expect on most clips. Here are a couple of notes about getting perfect results if the default settings aren't right for your clip. If SSDR has introduced obvious snapping between segments, consider increasing the bone count and refinement iterations. It's likely that the depth of movement required for the performance isn't being captured by the limited amount of bones. If a small bone count is essential, such as in the case of a large multi-track performance, consider reducing the length of the stabilized segments. If you find your results have generated spikes along the mesh, try reducing the amount of bones you have and increasing the refinement iterations on the segments in question. Having excess bones can cause inaccurate results in some cases. Please refer to the HollowEdit written documentation for further details on the SSDR stage in HollowEdit. Thank you for watching this video. Please check out our other videos on the Arcturus channel for more information on HollowEdit.